Welcome back. Golden Eagles. Welcome back, Falcons. Welcome back, West Hills family. We're so glad to welcome you back to in-person classes and in-person services at West Hills. The pandemic was hard, but you are resilient and we have remained focused on the relentless pursuit of student success. We want you to know that as we return to campus, the health and safety of our students and employees is important to us. We've implemented a number of health and safety measures within our district to make sure we have an effective and safe return to our campus and so that we can respond and communicate as any changes happen in our state and county. So let us introduce you to the West Hills Safe app and teach you how to download and utilize three key functions of the app so that we can stay West Hills safe. Let's take a look at the West Hills Safe app, available in both the Apple App Store for iOS devices and the Google Play Store for Android devices. You can find the app by searching West Hills Safe. Once downloaded, getting the app set up is easy. First, log in using the same username and password you use for your student portal. Once logged in, you will need to accept the terms of use by clicking Accept at the bottom of the screen. From here, you will be given the opportunity to set up your profile and preferences, as well as read about some of the app's features. When you reach the end, click Done and you'll be taken to the community page of the app. From this page, you will have access to the three key functions we are highlighting in this video. Let's dive in. Key function number one, health screening. The daily pre-screening questionnaire can be found here at the top left of the community page. This questionnaire must be completed once a day for every day you are on campus. You are not required to complete this pre-screening for the days you are off campus. To get started, click on the daily pre-screening section on the community page. Read through the introductory text. If you have any questions about the app or campus safety, you can use the contact information provided on this page. Click Next to continue you'll be asked a few short questions related to COVID. Be sure to answer these questions honestly. The answers you provide on this screening will determine which type of campus pass will be generated for you. Campus passes are used to determine your eligibility for entry into all buildings and classrooms on campus. Here are the three types of passes. The green pass means there are no potential risks reported and you are free to enter campus. This pass will expire at 11.59 p.m. on the same day the pass was generated. The red pass means potential risks were reported and you cannot enter campus. This pass expires 14 days from being generated and means you will need to wait 14 days before attempting to enter the campus. And then there is the blue pass, which brings us to Key function number two, vaccination reporting. Students and staff can choose to upload their vaccination cards to receive a blue pass. This pass means you have proven to be fully vaccinated. To receive a blue pass, you must upload your vaccination card. To do this, click on the self-report vaccination section on the community page. Read the introductory text and click next at the bottom of the screen. Then select which vaccine you received and click next. Then select Add Photo. Here you either upload a pre-existing picture of your vaccination card or you will have the option to take a new one via the app. Once you've chosen or taken your photo, click Use Photo. Here you can crop the image if needed. Once you've finished, click Save and Next. Click Submit and your form will be submitted to the West Hills College HR Department for approval. Once approved, you will be given a blue pass. Note, you are still required to answer the daily health screening after you've uploaded your COVID-19 vaccine information into the system. Also, vaccinations are not mandatory, but they are highly encouraged. The district is working with local health officials to provide no-cost COVID-19 vaccine clinics on-site for students and employees. You can find additional no-cost vaccine providers at covid19.ca gov slash vaccines. Key function number three, QR code used for building or room entry. We are asking all students and staff to check in when entering buildings or classrooms. This will help the West Hills HR department with contact tracing in the event that anyone is infected on campus. West Hills College has placed QR codes on all entrances to help with checking in. 
To check in and gain access to a building or classroom, you will first need to click on the QR scanner tool in the top left-hand corner of the community page. This will open your camera within the West Hills Safe app. Point the camera at the QR code. The QR will automatically read which pass you currently have. If you have a green pass, then you are cleared to enter the room, and a pop-up will appear confirming the location of your check-in. If you have a red pass, an entry denied message will appear. Note, if you are cleared for entry, you will not need to scan again when leaving the room or building. Let's do this, West Hills. Download the app today and remember the three simple steps. Number one, daily health screening for your campus pass. Two, upload your vaccine information if you choose. And three, scan the QR codes when entering buildings and classrooms. Follow our latest mask policy. And you will be West Hills safe.